Hi Capricorn, welcome to your bonus reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, I'm going to take a look at the energies around you at this time for this bonus reading. So we're going to do a little bit of love, life, advice. So we're going to look at all areas. So if something in your monthly readings didn't resonate, um, maybe something here will. So that's my purpose of this uh, reading for a little extra energy and uh, see what we get for you. So welcome, hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn, at this time. I do say um, at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go and watch past readings, links below in the description box for your general love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that to the top comment. So Capricorn, let's see, only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Um, not everything may resonate here for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. All right, male, female, doesn't matter. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what's going on in love. This bonus reading for Capricorn. And we have the stalks here, which is 17, which is eight which is travel, action, communication. And then we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom with the Queen of Hearts. So we could be talking about a water sign or love, emotions, feelings, intuitive energy. Let's see what's on the bottom. So we have the messenger coming in. This is almost like the fool energy, but this is the messenger which brings in a message or news of some kind. And one there is all about a new beginning. And then we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom, which is happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment. So let me read just a little bit of uh, one here, which is the, the rider actually is what it's called. I am always bringing news. Look around me to see what it includes, which is the stalks there. I might be coming to visit or bringing you some changes. I am fast and always on the move. If you are, if you see negative card close by, you will probably not enjoy the reply. Well, that other card is not negative, and I just opened it to Stork. With movements, upgrades, and improvements, I bring spring and the change of seasons. Sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion. Something's moving, two cards of movement. Something's moving very, very quickly in the love department. So either our new relationship is taking off very quickly, a new love interest, or somebody's sweeping in here, wanting to take you out, wanting to romance you, um, and it's going to move very quick. Or some of you could be getting news that somebody may be expecting, could be you, could be a family member, or something like that. Something's moving very quickly coming up for you. I mean, it may not happen uh, the end of the by the end of the month. It could be, you know, within the next month or so. All right. So, but definitely could be about love because the Queen of Cups is about love, emotions, feelings, you know, kind of energy. And the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, happiness and joy. So, some kind of news is going to come in to make you very, very happy. I feel. So let's see, Capricorn, what's going on here? What's going on for you, Capricorn? Oh, I guess we'll take this one. You're very close to achieving your goal. Wow, something, <laughs> something's coming in quick in love and something here, you are very close. And then we have nothing is yet set in stone. Hmm. So nothing is set in stone, but you're very close to reach, uh, to achieving your goals. So, so, you know, it may not go exactly as planned, whatever goals you have set, whatever you're striving for, you know, there may be bumps in the road. You may have it all planned out. You may have it all mapped out and, uh, you're following it religiously, but you know, this bumps, hiccups and things may not go exactly, um, how you want them to go, but yet, you will achieve your goals, but may not be in the way that you had planned. Is kind of what I'm getting. So let's see what your advice, what your advice is, Capricorn. Wow, that went flying. 
you have completion. Wow. So almost <laughs> achieving your goal. And then we have completion here with the nine, which nine is almost at the completion because then you get 10, which is an ending or a completion of something. And then a new beginning with one. So something almost completing here. But then there's healing and we have double six here. Six is a very healing, balancing number to me. So healing. So you could be completing a healing phase in your life right now. Um, or something that you're completing, something you're going for uh, is very healing for you, making you feel very balanced and peaceful and harmonious, however that makes sense for you. So I'd just like to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, tip, donated, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me, so thank you, thank you. All right, Capricorn, let's clarify love here. What is this fast news coming in? Good news, going to make you happy. Something about love, something moving very quickly. You see the rainbow there for luck on that card. Capricorn, please. <coughs> yep, somebody wanting to work it out, wanting to work on things. But now we have the Four of Pentacles. So that is an energy of, you know, holding back, not letting go, but also, yeah. So I don't know, let's see where we go. Stress, worry, fear, anxiety here. Somebody stressed out. Hierophant, okay. <laughs> Commitment, marriage. Somebody is stressed out about commitment or they're nervous and scared that they don't want to lose you. Yeah, and I say that the Five of Cups, which is about sadness, loss, hurt. What else? Two of Pentacles. So I'm feeling somebody here is stressed out about possibly losing you and they don't want to lose you. I think they would feel very imbalanced without you. It's kind of like you balance each other out. And they just can't let you go with the Four of Pentacles energy. I feel like they ha ha, you know, have you close to their heart and they just can't let you go. And they want this commitment or leveling up the connection of some kind, working on it together with the Three of Pentacles energy. Can we work it out? Can we work on this? And they're going to come rushing in to express this kind of energy. Because we do have the Hierophant here, which that is my commitment marriage card. I'm not saying marriage, but at least uh, leveling up the connection in some way and wanting to work on it. They may rush in quickly, like unexpectedly, with this news. And it's going to be like your wish dream come true. And uh, But yeah, they may want to take it slow. They may rush in, but then they may want to take it slow moving forward, if that makes sense for you. I don't think you're really going to see this coming, that they like want this new beginning. And uh, it's going to be a surprise to you, but it's going to make you happy. I feel like they're the ones that are stressed out about this, about possibly losing you. They don't make the next move. All right, so what is this? You're very close to achieving your goals. Nothing is set in stone. Four of Cups, yeah, so feeling kind of bored and discontent and melancholy. Seven of Cups, confusions, options. So, yeah, I feel like I feel like you had whatever you're striving for, whatever your goals are, whatever you're trying to do or accomplish, I feel like now you're like, okay, I got all these bumps in the road, all these things that are... Um, <coughs> challenging me they're um i'm trying to just say how i want to say this so i feel like you have all these different things like challenging you that are unexpected bumps in the road and now you're like oh this isn't going the way i planned it you know all these interferences or whatever they are it's like disrupting your plans in a way if that makes sense so what else here but yeah you're still moving forward regardless a lot of drive, ambition, balance, uh, victory. So you do have success and victory. So no matter what comes up, no matter what gets in your way, you know, feeling like oh, this just isn't going well how I want it, 
but you do have success and victory. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, because there's your success, victory, enlightenment. Happiest card in the deck, success, victory kind of energy. So to keep going, and it's right over the Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So whatever bumps in the road, whatever was challenging you or whatever here, just to keep going. And I, it's funny how I said bumps in the road and I kept saying that and the chariot comes out. <laughs> Driving your car over those bumps in the road to your success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy. Yet that you do have the strength to persevere on. You keep going, not to give up, willpower, determination. Two cards of Leo here, so... Um, hang man so yeah gain a new perspective a lot of major we got four major right here wow so I feel like you know even though you have things here that kind of held you back from time to time or made you have, have to like stop or take a break or put a pause on things like put you know these things kept putting a break on whatever it was you're doing uh, whatever it was for you but, you know, you gain enlightenment, so you know, I'm just going to keep going, you know, keep moving on. And you have two cards of success and happiness here, so you're almost there, so don't give up. I think it's just not going to go the way you planned, and you're going to have bumps in the road, but your success is there. So completion and healing. So magician here, so manifesting a new beginning. Six of Cups. So it could be something um, you've been wanting to do since childhood. Could involve old family friends going back home. Uh, some of you could manifest a new beginning by moving back home and starting new there. Maybe it's right healing for you. Maybe you just completed that move and now you're kind of like starting over. Yeah, being the Emperor, Emperor Empress doesn't matter. Taking the lead, taking control, taking charge of your life now, moving forward. You can actually, maybe you got a promotion, a new job, where you are now a boss. Maybe you're a business owner now. However, uh, this makes sense for you. And the Empress, wow. Maybe some of you went into partnership with your uh, loved one. Or this could be your parents. Maybe you moved back home to your parents. Home, place, uh, whatever here, to start a new life. Justice, so getting justice, serving yourself justice, you know, things balancing out for you, having truth, you know, having mental clarity. Wow, and I, <laughs> wow, a lot of majors for you, Capricorn. So here's your balance, your peace, your harmony, your healing, uh, your patient energy. <coughs> yeah, a lot of, you know, temperance can be about healing, patience, balance. So, yep, you're, I feel like maybe some of you just, like, moved back home, maybe, or something like that. Starting over, have feeling like I have justice in my life now. I'm feeling balanced and healed and patient myself, and now manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself. Wow. All right, let's see what's on the bottom here, Capricorn. So, there you are, going forward, um, very stable energy making smart, practical decisions, looking at your future, moving forward kind of energy. And this could be this person now coming in with a solid, uh, stable offer of some kind for you. You know, if they were sneaky, deceptive in the past, weren't honest, or they snuck away from the connection, but now I feel like they definitely want to come back kind of energy. There's faith, hope, optimism, healing, which is dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. Again, now we have Queen of Cups, which was over here on uh, the start. So again, love, emotions, feelings between two people. Working on it here. Working on your future. Working on a relationship. Moving forward. Love, emotions, intuitive energy. Wishes, dreams coming true. Faith, hope, optimism, divinely guided. You know, people might have snuck away from a situation or, you know, something like that. But now... They're coming back with a solid offer. So, and you could have took up an offer here and moved back home or something to that effect. And maybe you accepted whatever this is here, uh, very close to achieving your goal. Maybe you accepted a new job offer or something like that. 
So however that resonates for you. Okay, Capricorn. So do ask, especially if you're new, um, you like how I read it, you could check out my channel, like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I do about five readings a month per sign. And if you do, uh, thank you. So best of luck to you, Capricorn. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.